Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So we have already seen a couple of videos related to W3C actions where we have seen what is W3C action gestures and how to perform tap gestures on the screen. In today's video, we'll be looking into the scroll gesture, uh, basically the swipe gesture where we will swipe uh, in different directions on the screen as well as inside the element. For example, uh, any swipeable element. If you are new to my channel, uh, my name is Vasik Bamla. I have 16 plus years of experience in testing uh, and test automation field. And on this channel, I create videos uh, related to testing, test automation and tips and tricks related to test automation. So do consider subscribing to my channel and uh, press the bell uh, icon to get notified whenever a new video is posted. So let's uh, start with today's video. Before we proceed into the swipe action and see how we can implement the swipe action in APM, let's first understand and conceptualize the concept of swipe. What exactly swipe is? So basically the swipe is a finger gesture which uh, starts from a particular coordinate and uh, ends at a particular coordinate. So in this uh, diagram, we are conceptualizing the swipe where we are you know, uh, going from the start coordinates uh, and our finger ends at the end coordinates. So in this way, our finger is moving upwards. So that's how we conceptualize the swipe up uh, gesture. But actually, if you see, the page is going downwards. The page is actually going down. So that is a scroll down uh, gesture. If you uh, correlate with swipe with scroll, swipe is um, the finger moving upwards and the page uh, is going downwards. So that is a, a scroll for the page and a swipe for a finger. And similarly, if we see a swipe down examples, so in, in that case, the finger is moving downwards and the page is going upwards okay so the main point we need to remember is uh, when we are swiping vertically the y coordinates uh, change x coordinates will remain the same similarly if you are swiping horizontally the y coordinates will remain the same and the x coordinates will change depending on the distance you are going from the center to the direction you want to swipe so let's uh, go ahead and uh, check out uh, the a sample ex uh, sample test we have uh, written uh, for android so this project is already available on github I, uh, I will share the link for the github repository in the video description do check it out and you can also clone it uh, and play around with the code available in this project so let's first understand the swipe gestures and different types of swipe we have uh, covered in this test so first we are doing swipe up where it will uh, just uh, swipe uh, up on the screen and immediately after that, it will swipe down. So it will uh, take us to the initial uh, state of the page. And the last uh, example is we are swiping on an element where we are swiping left on the description, uh, which uh, is a uh, which is a swipeable component. And as soon as we do swipe left, uh, a delete button appears, and then we will click on the delete button. Now. Let's execute this test and uh, see the swipe gesture in action. So the test will automatically launch the emulator and it will launch the application. And we'll see all these tests being executed. Let's wait until the test gets uh, executed and then we will see the implementation of the swipe. So now on this page, after doing zoom in and zoom out, we'll swipe up and swipe down. And then we will swipe on the description, which will reveal the delete button. So that's how the swipe uh, gesture works. Now let's see the implementation. So this method, uh, Let's go into this method implementation. Now you can see that there are uh, two methods of swipe. The first method is uh, which takes the direction and the distance. So this method basically does the swipe on the screen. The second method, which is an overloaded method, and it has one extra extra parameter, which is a web element. So here it takes in the direction 
the web element and the distance. So basically what it does, it will swipe inside the element provided and it will swipe in the direction which you have mentioned in the parameter and the distance of the swipe will depend on the distance parameter which you have provided. So this distance can be any number between 1 and 100, uh, means 1 and 99. So you cannot uh, give 0 or 100 because in that case it will uh, touch the edge of the element or the screen which uh, we don't recommend. So let's see the first uh, step in this method. So first we are identifying the start coordinates, which is nothing but the center of the screen or the element. So if the element is not provided, it will identify the center of the screen. And if the element is provided, it will identify the center of the element. So let's check out the method. So in this method, we are initially getting the center of the screen. And if the element is provided, we will identify the center of the element. So that's pretty straightforward implementation. Now let's check out the second second step. So after uh, identifying the start coordinates, we identify the end coordinates. So let's go in this method and see the implementation. So here we are first verifying the distance. So if if the if the distance is less than equal to zero or greater than equal to hundred, then we will throw illegal argument exception that uh, the distance should be always between 0 and 100 exclusive. So it should be in between 1 to 99. Now, <clears throat> next thing is uh, we will again get the static coordinates, which is uh, nothing but the coordinates which are, we already identified. And uh, the, we will use the start coordinates uh, to identify the end coordinates. So what we are doing, we are uh, adding the distance to the start coordinates and we are moving towards the direction which we have uh, specified so if you go and look into the direction enum we have identified uh, we have uh, four different directions which will be uh, implemented so if uh, we are going vertically that is up and down in that case x coordinates does not change that's why it is uh, kept as zero so while uh, the while doing the swipe up uh, we are reducing the y coordinates and while going uh, down we are increasing the y coordinates. Similarly, when we are swiping horizontally, the y coordinates does not change. That's why it is uh, set as zero. And if we are going towards left, we are re reducing the x coordinate values. And if we are going towards right, we are increasing the x coordinate value. So it's pretty straightforward implementation. And according to that, uh, the, sub the formula will identify the correct distance uh, which it needs to go from the start coordinates. It will start from the starting coordinate and it will identify the distance it needs to cover from the start coordinate till the edge of the uh, screen on an element. So it, the distance can be like 70%, 80%. So that distance will be the distance between the starting position and the edges of the screen or element. Next, we are just making sure that uh, the uh, coordinates are inside the bounds of the screen or an element. So normally this method should not uh, modify the x and y values uh, but it is uh, added just for an extra safety net because uh, since we've already put a method which uh, verifies the distance so normally the x and y coordinates will be always inside the bounds but just uh, in case for some reason it if it goes beyond the bounds uh, then we should be able to correct the coordinates according to that so we have already seen this implementation in our last video uh, we'll just quickly uh, walk through the code. Basically, we are just uh, checking the coordinates uh, and bounds of the screen or, or element. So depending on the, whether we are swiping on the screen or on element, we will get the X and Y coordinate. And we are just checking with the boundary values. Now let's just uh, complete this uh, swipe method. So I, in this uh, method, after identifying the end coordinates, we are just uh, printing some uh, coordinate values to for a debugging purpose. And next, we are using the single finger swipe uh, method, which we have already seen in our last video. So if you have not checked out our last video, you can check the that video uh, in the eye icon, uh, which might be popping up right now. So let's quickly go through this uh, method. So if uh, we have uh, specified the start coordinate and end coordinate, it will do the finger swipe uh, gesture. So first it will uh, move to the starting coordinates and it will uh, press down on the left uh, mouse button 
and then uh, it will pause for a few milliseconds and then it will again move to the end coordinates and it will uh, uh, release the left mouse button so basically it is a kind of a drag and drop where we are just going from point a to point b so that's the very simple implementation now this uh, method will be written in the sequence so once this method returns the sequence uh, we will be using the driver.perform method uh, where we will execute the collection of the sequence. So first uh, we will convert uh, the sequence into a singleton list and we will pass that to the perform method. So this will execute the sequence. So that's the implementation of the swipe gesture. Uh, so we have only covered a up and down swipe on the screen and the left swipe on the element. So you can play around uh, with the logic which we have provided in this class and uh, try to automate different gestures on your own. You can uh, share your experience in the comments uh, below. Uh, how you how was your experience with the logic which you have implemented in this code? Whether it is working for you or uh, is there any issue which you have identified while uh, executing this logic? I would really love to hear uh, from you your experience. Uh, how was the experience? Uh, when you use this logic in your uh, projects. So that's it for this uh, today's video. In the next video, we'll be looking in the drag and drop action. And uh, later on, we'll uh, in the later videos, we'll see the zoom in and zoom out uh, gestures, which will conclude the W3C gestures uh, series, which we are currently doing. Share your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments below. I would really love to hear from you what you think about the contents which I am creating and uh, do click on the like button and uh, share this video with your friends uh, so they also learn something new about uh, the W3C swipe actions. Before you leave, you can uh, check out the other videos which I have created on this channel over here. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.